Hi everyone, so a few weeks ago I showed you the uh, Constantina Tower card. I'll put a link to the video. Um, and we did, and then I did an extended octagonal Constantina Tower card as well. Well, this is the card that it all came out of. So this is the card that I originally did um, ages ago. Uh, and this is what inspired that octagonal and other Constantina Tower card. Um, and I quite like it. I think it needs more. I think the two are not quite enough. Um, so obviously you could add a third one on here if you wanted to. Um, you could also have one high, one low, or one high and two low, which is what I did with the Constantina one, with the hexagonal. Um, so yeah, but I just thought I'd show you the original and show you how to make the original in case you wanted to do this one. And the other things where you could do is you could put another little one at the bottom here, a bit like the triple pop-up box card, cube card that I made back in December 2019 that went completely bonkers online in 2020. Um, but yes, yeah, so this just folds flat again, same as the Constantina Tower card. Um, and I actually called this one a double display tower card. But I think I'm going to call it a double display Constantina Tower card, just so you know which one it is. So yeah, so this is this one. Um, so it's quite nice. I actually did it so that the height of it is five and three quarters, which means you can get um, two towers out of one sheet of A4, which is helpful for those in the UK. And this is the other one. Um, and again, you can put things if you wanted to, because you've got these little last tape windows. If you wanted to, you could put things in here as well, like coming out. You could do. There's loads of things you could do. Like it's almost like a display case. It's almost like a little you know display case type thing and as i say it folds flat for posting so yes let's get started okay so you're going to need for this card you're going to need a few bits and bobs you're going to need two base cards that are eight and a, well five and three quarters by eight and a quarter which will then mean you can get two of them out of an a4 sheet um you also need another bit of base card and this one measures four inches by five and three quarter inches. And that's basically like a hinge. You'll also need a whole load of pattern pieces. So you're going to need, um, I think these are matte pieces. Yep. Yeah. So these are matte pieces and these are one and three quarters by five and a half. And you need four of those. And then you need four pattern pieces. And these are all one and a half by five and a half. Okay, so these are to go inside. And then you also need some acetate pieces. And these pieces are one and three quarters by five. Which is like the size of your panel. You might want to just slither them down a tiny bit um, because they're going to go inside in a bit and you need them to be able to fit. So you might have to go a little bit, a little bit smaller than that. But you need, um, in total, you need four pieces of those. Okay, I've only got two here for some reason, but you need four. You'll also obviously need a sentiment and you also need some little die cut pieces that you can then decorate the front of your window with. And also if you want to, you can decorate inside with. Okay, so for the scoring, if we start with the four by five and three quarter piece, all you need to do on this one is just score it in half at two inches. Okay, so that's that's all the scoring you need to do on that one. So that can go to one side. And then if you bring in your eight and a quarter by five and three quarter inches, you're going to score at two inches, at four inches, at six inches, and at eight inches. Okay, and you're going to do that on both pieces. Okay, so then what you want to do is you're going to want to get yourself a piece of cardboard, a bit of scrap cardboard, that's about one and three eighths by five and an eighth, one eighth. And this is going to be your window template. Now, if you have a die that perfectly makes a nice little window out of these, then that's fine. But I don't have one, um, and I'm sure a lot of people don't have one. So I decided to make a little template out of a bit of cardboard packet. That's all that is. Um, and then I can just use that to draw around. Instead of having to keep measuring it, I can just draw around it. It's a lot easier. So what we're going to do, we take our um, one of our pieces of card, the five and three quarter by eight and a quarter. I'm just going to turn it round so that the um, 
tab is on the right hand side. So now we're going to take our window template and the the section right next door to the tab is the one we're going to draw. So we're going to draw our little template on like this. And then we're going to cut round that with a standing knife or craft knife and metal ruler and cut out our window. Okay, so that's the first one done and we're going to do one on the panel next to it, but only those two panels. We're not doing the two back, these two ones here. We're just doing these, these two here, just to the side of the flap, the tab. Okay, so we've drawn round. Now you might want to do it on the reverse. I probably should have done it in the reverse, but anyway, I haven't. Um, so now what we're going to do is take a standing knife, as I said, or a craft knife, and a metal rule, and we're just going to cut along our pencil lines and make our little window. So you end up with that. So then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other one. So again, where your tab is, you're going to cut a window out of these two. If you want to, and you're confident enough that they're both the same, you can just go ahead and lay the one that you've done on top of the one that you need to do, and then just draw around the inside of those windows and cut them out. And that will then hopefully save you a bit of faff. Uh, I've drawn around them, so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut those two windows out. Okay, so you end up with two pieces that look like that. So you can now go ahead and put your cutting mat and everything away. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish all of our score lines. Okay, so one thing I've just realised that you probably should do um, first is you should probably fold your score lines first and then cut your windows out. The only thing with that is it's not as flat and as easy to cut out, but it does make folding easier. So it's, you know, one of those, isn't it? Right, so what we need to do now is on the inside, so where you've got your tab, you're going to, on the inside here, you're going to put tape and we're actually going to stick it on the outside of the card because we're going to cover that anyway, so it doesn't matter. And it just means then that you don't end up with tab on the inside and it doesn't, you know, impede what you actually see. So we're going to go ahead now and um, add that on. And we're going to do it onto both panels. Okay, so one thing as well that I've, I will put on as a caption before I get to this point in the video, but... Um, you need to make sure that your card is a decent weight. This one's 280, uh, which is good. Um, in fact, it might even be 240. It's 240 or 280, um, but you definitely don't want to go any lower than 240. Definitely, definitely, definitely not. I would say even 240 is maybe a little bit flimsy. Um, just because you've got obviously quite a fine frame here. Um, you are going to put acetate on the back of it, so that will strengthen it. But even so, you still have to keep that in mind. Right, so now what we're going to do, if we turn them over and we're dealing with the inside of the frames, we're going to go ahead and stick our acetate on the inside of the two windows uh, on both panels. Okay, so once you've put your red tape on, you can go ahead and stick your acetate obviously down. Okay, so you should end up with that. So you've got your you've got your two windows at the front there. Um, and then that's that done. Right, so now we're going to put these to one side for a moment and we're going to bring in our matte and pattern layers um, and we're going to stick our matte patterns onto our mats um, and then we will come back in a minute.
Okay, so once you've stuck your um, pattern pieces onto your mat, you can go ahead, take your inside pieces, um, and then you want to go ahead and stick them inside. If you've got a right way up pattern, um, it, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. I often put the, well on the last two, I put the, the tab so that it's on the inside piece. So if you look at this one, actually no, I've done both on this one. So on this one I've put the tab here and then the other one's there. But it's really up to you what you want to do. I'm On this one I think I am going to put them both in the middle. So I have one there and I have one, the other one is also on that middle piece. Okay, so we've done that, stuck that in. So now it's now the time. If you want to stick anything die cut on the inside of your uh, tower card, now is the time to do it. With my last two, I didn't. But with this one, I think that I might put some on the inside and some on the outside. Because I've chosen kind of sea creatures, I think they'd be quite nice to put some of the sea creatures on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead now and just decorate bits on the inside and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've done the inside as much as I want to do it. So now we're going to go ahead and um, stick them together and then I can put some more bits on the front. So we just want to make sure that we're sticking it how it's going to go in the envelope. Okay, so I'm going to stick it like that and then I know that's going to fit. So I'm just going to fold, take this backing off, fold that over, fold this over and stick it down. And there's your box. Just make sure with your acetate that it's not too big because I noticed that some of mine was a little bit on the big side. So there's one done, and then we're going to do the other one. Okay, so we've stuck them together. We've put the no, we haven't stopped. Yeah, we've stuck the boxes together. Now we're going to add the connecting piece on the back, and then we're going to finish decorating. So if we just flatten them the opposite way to so the way they want to go, and just remember that I mean I've I've done mine a certain way, so that's on the right and that's on the left. So this bit here. Is the bit I'm going to add a connecting piece on and this piece here I'm going to add a connecting piece on so I'm just going to turn them over I mean, it's both the ones with the tabs on them basically so if I turn them if I stick them together just hold them together like that because that's sort of how it's going to be turn them over so there's my two tabs um, and then bring back my connecting piece so your connecting piece is here and what we're going to do is just going to fold that in half down the line that you scored and then we want to stick that one side to there and then the other side to there like that so i'm going to go ahead and do that now So as you can see, I've put the connecting piece on one side and then I just need to connect it to the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn it over and then what I can do is I can just stick that on like that and nudge those up together, which then means I'm not accidentally sticking one over the top of the other. Okay, so there we have our connecting piece attached, which means both boxes are now attached to each other. So that's good. So now we can just finish off with decorating the front of the card. Okay, so I went ahead, finished decorating it off. So there's my finished card. So I'm quite pleased actually. I think I prefer this out of the three that I've done. Um, I like the little fishies. Also, this one here, you'll notice its tail sticking off the edge, and I wasn't sure whether that would work. But because it folds flat like that, that tail's protected, so it's okay. If it was here, it wouldn't work. 
but because it's there it will now the finished fit footprint of this card is four by five and three quarters so it should fit in an envelope for a four by six card okay now i've obviously added a few like um foam pads on here they're only thin ones but even so i do i've got a bit of a wadge there but that's fine you can always stick them flat i just like them because of the dimension that they give um but yeah so that's what it looks like when it's finished and obviously it folds flat as i said uh so yeah um hopefully you'll have a go okay so there we go so there's the finished um three cards and obviously that was the original this is one i did in class and that's one we did today so i think out of all of them i prefer this one um but yeah have a go see what you think obviously you can size them up size them down you can make them bigger etc you can do whatever you want with them really so yeah have fun with them uh please like comment subscribe hit the notification bell um, and turn on all notifications so you don't ever miss a video and we will see you again next time bye